So, wanted to make this very quick video for my women that desire to marry over 40. So I'm reading a book, I read a lot of books. Um, I probably read about 50 books in the relationship realm. Uh, since, like before meeting my Superman, with my Superman, I read every single day. So with this one, <laughs> it actually said, now this is the late 1980s, I'm sure it's even thought to be worse now. But a study, study was published that claimed a 40-year-old woman was more likely to be killed by terrorists than to marry, okay? Crazy to say. So it said that it caused a, a stir, and the author of the book that I'm reading said that they went to the U.S. Census report and found that about 9% of the women who married in 1980 were over 40. It's even less now. And that's why I'm talking to my women over 40, single or divorced, with children that really desire to attract the love they desire and deserve and really get married. My whole goal now, not my whole goal with the channel, but my mission with this is to help you get married. Women over 40, um, statistically, it is very difficult for us to get married because men over 50 that desire something amazing marriage don't desire it as much with us because there's no benefit for them think about it why does he want to marry you no children you're probably not gonna have, and he probably don't want no kids you don't want any kids um he's already built up a nice you know nest egg he probably already has a home you know car so what's the benefit how can you convince him that you deserve really to be married or how can you what i say earn the ring and here's the thing i'm gonna do a whole video on being the trophy like my aunt was telling me you know kind of like i'm kind of my superman's trophy and i thought about it you know she's like i'm sure he's proud to be with you but again in the book that i'm reading it says that every wife is a trophy wife because men want to be proud to be with us which is why your visual is very important getting in the gym and getting to a size that suits you so that you can look great naked that's the whole point of it not so you just fit with your clothes on when you take these clothes off how do you look what do you need to get nipped and tucked sis this is serious okay here's another thing that i'm learning men over 50 that have never been married probably have commitment phobia and probably are not good for you to even consider if you get to a man and you're dating and talking and he's like, yeah, I don't want to get married. It's not a thought, not something that I would consider. Run. If marriage is what you want and not just a long term relationship where you're doing it 50 50. The other thing is women over 40 can still have hypergamy. <laughs> if you're not familiar with that term, check out Chloe's channel. I really love learning about it. Um, something I wish I mean, I chose to have my children under the wrong circumstances, but if I knew better, woo. Your girl would have been living the life I am now. And my, as a 70s baby, I would have been living way, way, way back then. And I, my kids would have lived a very, very different life. But the other thing here is it talks about, you know, where do you meet these men? And again, I believe the best place to meet the men is social media, because especially if you look a little younger in your 40s, these men probably are not going to approach you in public because the old school traditional 50 plus man is just that. So he's not really looking for that 30 something year old woman. And he probably will err on the side of not speaking to you or approaching you versus approaching you. The other thing is, um, he said here that luck plays a huge part. The chances you will find a man are less than they were when you were younger. Folks are lying to us. So there are so many people online now like, you got options. No, we don't have as many options. now. Some of us have more options than others, but like, say, you know, in my 20s, well, I didn't even, I had options, but I had kids young. So my options weren't the best options even back then. But let's say a 20 something year old, zero kids, you know, very attractive, slim fit. She got a lot of options, but 40 plus, we don't have as many because the men that are available to us that are divorced or widowed, he actually talks about it in this book. Divorced and widowed men are the ones that are most likely to marry again later in life. My Superman has been divorced just like me. So he, he talked marriage within like the first week. He pulled a chair. I was sitting in a chair in his home and he's cooking me dinner and he pulled a chair and put it like, like facing each other. Okay. Made me nervous. Put his hands back like this. And he said, he said, would you ever consider getting married again? I was like, yes. He's like, okay, put the chair back. And now we never talked about it again. Never talked about it again. 
Now, when it, you know, that night, but when it came up kind of again, you know, I told him, I said, hey, you know, I'm going to get married in about two years because I kind of wanted to wait until my youngest graduated high school. Well, that timeline has moved up and we're getting married sooner. But going into the relationship, he knew I wanted to get married. I knew he wanted to get married and we had a timeline attached to it. So that's what I'm going to leave here. I have so many topics that I want to have um, share for my women over 40 join my patreon because I'm actually going to share the name of the book that I'm reading and share a little bit more of insight with the ladies over there and it says 21 percent of the women over 40 who met with their fiancés told us that they have met their partners in clubs dedicated dedicated to activities that help them keep the members in shape such as gym ski clubs swim clubs bicycling clubs I'm gonna tell you something if you in Georgia Planet Fitness in the south where well if you want a black man but if you want any man these single men they were in the gym. Now, before I had this ring on, they was, you know, smiling at your girl, even with our mask on. And I'm smiling back, just being friendly. They talking to me, everything. Now, not so much, you know, they like, okay, she's spoken for. But the single men are in the gym, okay, sis? So wishing you well, and I want you to be married because there are so many amazing men. Uh, it is, it is, oh my God. <laughs> I really did not think that I would be experiencing the level of love and adoration and being cherished that I'm getting and receiving. And I respect my man so much. He's so easy to love. He's a provider. He's a protector. He's a producer. He is a man's man. And it is a joy, y'all. There's still some of these men out there, 50 plus. <laughs> Leave me a comment below and let me know what your thoughts are at 40 plus, what you're going to do so that you can get that man that you deserve, right? So men get the type of woman that they earn. Women get the type of man they deserve, right? I'll <laughs> see you in the next video.